Omori is no stranger to the mod scene, and the latest one that's caught my eye is one that has just started development, but is already looking very promising, Requiem. It's immediately obvious that this take on the story isn't afraid to tackle the more controversial parts of the game, even if they were originally meant to be ambiguous. I'm going to touch on everything we've seen so far from this mod, and in addition, I'm going to show you a handful of other Omori mods that have caught my eye as well, including one where you come across Morpheus, because if we're being honest, honest with ourselves, no mod is complete without his appearance. Requiem puts itself firmly in the spot that Omori fans ponder the most, the original game's ending. We see the gang talking next to Basil in the hospital before leaving to check on Sunny. They find he isn't in his assigned room anymore, which stresses out Aubrey, and when she takes a step outside, she sees him getting ready to jump off the balcony. She does her usual Sundare thing by presenting as mad even though she wants the best for him. Of course, these words of reassurance are falling on deaf ears because Sunny Sonny hasn't confessed anything at this point, and he feels like he doesn't deserve any of the reassurance he's getting. The trailer starts to cut between the talk on the balcony and Headspace, though it's not clear how this will differ from Sonny's quest through Headspace in the original release, if he even does the whole thing at all. I'm wondering if most of this game will take place inside a coma or something. It's brought up by Omori in the throne room, and I'd have to imagine that being in a coma would have big changes on how Headspace works. Like, maybe it's even more surreal than it is when you're just sleeping? All just speculation on my part, but I do think it'd be a neat idea. The Kel mod was brought up in another video I did, but I wanted to briefly touch on it again just because we have gotten a couple more glimpses into what this fan project will eventually have. Since the last time I've covered it, we've seen multiple new insights into what players can expect, like Sunny's room in Kel's headspace and this locker room. Also, the portraits in this game look genuinely different, which I actually think is a nice change of pace. So many games carbon copy Omocat's art style, which is an awesome feat that's very hard to do, but not every fan project needs to follow that exact template, so it's refreshing to see here. Kel definitely sits comfortably into that supporting character role in Omocat's version of this world, and I think that was how he was written from the onset, so it might be a little bit difficult to make him a main character here, but everything I've seen so far from the team's Discord and Twitter posts paints the picture that the Kel team here is more than up to the task. I'll probably have a full video on this one when it eventually releases, so make sure you subscribe if you want to know exactly when it's up. Ambien is an expansion that's already out which increases the amount of content in the black space area towards the end of the original game. The new stuff here isn't available until the very late parts of your playthrough, so I wouldn't recommend starting from scratch to experience this rather. If you have a save file lying around with a decent chunk of hours logged on it for the Hikamori route, that should be your best bet. I'm reluctant to cover too much here simply because to do so would deprive yourself of one of the few fan projects that so naturally builds on what came before, so provided you meet the criteria I described, be sure to give this one a go. Black Space is easily one of the most unnerving parts of Sunny's entire quest through the game, and this prolonged and deeper exploration of it is certainly going to give Omori fans bittersweet character exploration, provided you've got the heart for it in the first place. The Rainy Mari project is not the first attempt in the community at making a story focused around Mari, but it's certainly still intriguing. Not much is known about it, but going off the music and screenshots they've posted to their Twitter page, it does seem like the team is more than capable of making something that's quality. They are currently looking for pixel artists and programmers, so if you've got the talent and are interested in helping them out, the link to the application to do so is in the description. If Omori Ambien is an expanded black space, then Omori Vessel is if black space was a YouTube poop or something. It's essentially a conglomeration of memes squeezed into the format of RPG Maker. Anytime things stay vaguely atmospheric or scary, the game is quick to rip you right out of it and do basically anything. This could be talking to Morpheus or encountering my personal favorite character, the big evil rat man. Seriously, some parts of this mod just take you right out of the game and play family guy clips and stuff. I have no idea what the person or team that created this was trying to achieve when they developed this, but expect a full video on the mod to come out before long. And if you like RPG Maker games, I should also be having a video on the Witch's House out before long, so be sure to subscribe if you haven't already.